I'm back. Ah. Tastes good, doesn't it? The, the, the tears of rival fans. It's a taste I haven't had in a while, but I've missed it. As Arnie said, United are back, and I'm not talking about United winning all the pots again. I'm just talking about the fume that I am seeing from rivals at United actually having some on-field success. And that's what I want to run through in this video. So make sure you subscribe if you're new. It's going to be a good one. If you're a rival, subscribe as well. I'd love your tears in the comments. And you know what's almost better than rivals' tears? Watching two sexist pigs trying to justify their agenda without any facts whatsoever. Step forward, Andy Gray and Richard Keyes. The evidence that r rather supports my argument. I, I, I think it's impossible for one team penalties. to be rewarded in that manner so often. Richard Keyes here failing to understand or comprehend the fact that United have replaced Lukaku and Mata with Fernandez and Rashford and United are playing a faster flowing style of football, we're going to get more penalties, mate. Sorry about that. And the fact that VAR came in this season, everybody's getting penalties. Hell, Leicester have got four more penalties than United in the Premier League this season. Don't see you mentioning them. These two are serial offenders for me. These go over when you sneeze on them. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little surprised to see Fernandez uh, has only won two. I thought that he would be more, more successful than that. <laughs> yeah. But you do seem to focus on Rashford and Martial and Fernandez. You're right, mate. No mention of Salah doing a, a three-part play every time he goes down for a penalty. No, just Rashford and Martial. Well, must just be the fact that we're United then. It's an, ex it's an extraordinary amount of penalties. It's impossible. I'm, I'm guessing, I'm guessing, and I don't know, but I'm guessing the likes of which we've never seen before. I think this bit might be my favourite bit. Andy Gray just straight up admitting, I'm guessing. I'm absolutely guessing. I have no facts to base this on. I'm guessing... And I'm, guess I'm guessing, what sort of pundit just admits that? I mean, the agenda is strong on this one. Some of those justifiably oh, so, yeah, no yeah, question. Yeah. But I'm, I'm... There's a large chunk of them that are, de <sighs> are debatable. I would say 20 of that, 33. See, and, and, but and it is something for me that needs to be looked at and referees need to be more aware of. And, and I think but yesterday's was a great example. Something has to be done about it. How can United get so many penalties? The system must be broken. You sound like Donald Trump looking for 11,780 votes in Georgia because he knows that's what he needs to overturn. Mate, you, you sound... It's been this... It's been quite a while since I've seen a proper anyone but United agenda so obviously. And I've... I tell you what, I've missed it. I've missed that feeling that others have when United are successful. And when you're so successful as United were on the way up, as we were in the 90s and the 2000s when we dominated, the journey down is not going to be pretty. And if I was a rival of United, I would have reveled in it. I would have jumped in with both feet over the last seven years and watched United fall down. But we should expect that as United fans. But now that we're on the way back up, we should also expect this to be coming out. Everybody's coming out of the woodwork. And they're hating seeing United have some sort of sustained success on the pitch. Because we've had our purple patches. We've won the Europa League. We've won the FA Cup. We've won the League Cup. But we've never really sustained it under Moyes or, or Van Gaal. We didn't have anything under Moyes. Moyes, Van Gaal and Mourinho. And even under Solskjaer. But things look a bit different this time. And I really hope this fume continues because this is, the, this is the sort of fuel that United haven't had for a while because others wanting you to fail is for, for a certain mentality, certainly for Bruno Fernandes, that drives you on to succeed even more, to prove all these people wrong. And for so long, nobody really considered that United were anything just but just a little bit of noise. Not, it's United, man. Look, at they're, they're in terrible shape. They're not going to do anything. But United now, equal on points at the top of the Premier League. And look at the table since Bruno Fernandes joined. We're top of that table. Bruno Fernandes' arrival has changed everything at United. And I'll be completely honest. I remember last, what was it, last December, last January, before Bruno joined, I was really, really, that was, that was my lowest point of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer as manager. I said at that point that it would, it would have been a smart move from United to plan for Pochettino in the summer 
and I, st- I stand by that opinion. I think at that time, it was the right opinion. And the beauty of opinions is you can't be right or wrong. It's just what it's just your gut feeling and what you think. But then Bruno Fernandes happened. And none of us could have seen the impact that Bruno has had at the club. It really is Cantona-esque. Because when Cantona came in, he just had that mentality that just helped that group of players believe in themselves a bit more. Understand their own abilities and, and translated that into a title-winning team. I'm not saying that United are going to win the title this year. Because odds are, we are not going to win the title. Liverpool are going to win the title. But I don't really care about what they do. I care about what United are doing. And this, as I said, feels different. This this time is that we've had many resurgences under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Every time he's been close to, I think, close to the idea of being sacked, United have turned it around. But this time, United have not only just turned it around, we've used that as a platform to spring further upwards. And that's what we haven't done before. We've always done... One step forward and two steps back. But this time we've done one step forward and we've jumped ahead another two steps. We're continuing up the ladder and the form is just continuing. Whether that would be that game against Villa, which was one of the best, I think, competitive Premier League games I've seen United in in a while. We came out on top of it to the 6-2 against Leeds. And then we had the game against Wolves with a 93rd minute winner. There's just even the game against Leicester. United are just, we're, we're, we're a team at the moment. Far more than we have been in a long time. And I really genuinely think that Solskjaer and the players are using this fume as fuel for that fire. Because when other rivals are pissed off at you and they're moaning and they're complaining and they're saying, oh, oh, United got the referees bending their back pocket again, blah, blah, blah. That's what I want to hear, man. That is music to my ears. Pour the tears in the bucket because it tastes so damn good. And I've missed that. T- I've missed that. That <sighs> anger. The anger that seems to reside in every other fan when United are doing well, and that comes from the fact that we dominated so much in the '90s and the 2000s. So we deserve it. We absolutely deserve it. But it helps United. Well, it seems to be helping this United. And for me, that's the biggest, the biggest sign I've seen that United are back. I'm not talking about United going on. And winning the treble, or going on winning all the pots. I'm talking about just this shift, it, the shift in perception towards United as a team. Because for so long, people have just looked at us, pointed at us, laughed at us. At how much we've spent, how much we're spending on wages, how much of a crap team we are, how our manager's going to get sacked. We've just been a laughing stock for a long time. And we were a laughing stock. I understand. I think the rivals were right to laugh at us. But right now, everyone's got their tail between their legs because. Oh shit, United actually look like, they actually look good. What what are you supposed to do? Oh yeah, let's just complain about penalties. Ah, Fernandez dives, isn't he? Fine, do what you want. Do what you want, because for me at this point now, I think it's going to help this United team go, it's about refining that identity. And that was such a hugely important part of our identity, just being, being the team that everybody enjoyed watching lose because we were the best and that is now Liverpool and everybody will still enjoy watching Liverpool lose even if they're shit because that's just <laughs> that's just somewhere and Leeds as well it's just a, a something that the Premier League fans seem to unite behind and I like that but that's the that's the thing I'm really enjoying the most that's something I'm really enjoying watching other fans get so angry at, at watching United's progress and it's the biggest sign for me that Solskjaer's doing his job properly. As I said before, all of you have had the the doubts about Solskjaer. I've had my doubts about Solskjaer. It's just that I go on camera and I say them. And I stand by my opinion that I previously had, but I stand by the fact that Solskjaer, there cannot be a better feeling in the world than watching one of your favourite players manage your club and make it a success again. The connection that you have with that manager at that point is just, it's something that, you can't get from an outsider. It's something from within. And that's not to say that Solskjaer is going to be the man that wins us the Premier League titles. But Solskjaer, as I have said all along, from the very, very start, is going to be the manager that creates a situa- creates a foundation for whoever follows him for success to be possible. Whereas when Solskjaer came in, it was still about rebuilding and plastering and putting new walls up and taking walls down and trying to rebuild. And that's what he's done so well 
the culture. I mean, we were talking about that for so long, the, so long the culture and the DNA, but it seems like the conversations are now switching. It's not about the culture and the, and the DNA and uh, playing the United way. The cliches seem to have disappeared and been replaced by results, performances, goals, individual moments, team performances on occasion. I still think we need to improve on that. But it's a shift. I think it's a shift that needs to be mentioned. It's a shift that I hope continues. Who have we got? We've got City in the League Cup. We've got Watford in the FA Cup. We've got Burnley. And then we've got Liverpool at Anfield. I cannot wait for that game. Be interesting to see what shape United and what shape Liverpool are in. But right now, United, as I said, I'm loving seeing dickheads like Richard Keyes and, and Andy Gray and rival fans just get so pissed off at what seems to be going right for United. And for me, that's one of the biggest signs that United are indeed back. We're certainly on the right path now. And I can't wait to taste a little bit more of those tears. Mm -hmm.